assalamu alaikum today in this video i will explain the working procedure of capacitor sensor how it will work and how you can connect your capacitor sensor with your plc's and how it can generate its output first of all you need to look at its terminals these are its three wires first one this is this is blue wire which is connected with the zero volt which is available from plc the second one is brown this is its brown wire on which we will provide 24 volt dc which is also available from plc and this is black wire this black wire is its output and this the output of the sensor is connected at the input of the plc so this is the output which is generated by the sensor when it senses something this is its sensing end when something comes closer to this end it will sense that thing and will generate an output on this black terminal when it is connected with 24 volt on brown terminal and 0 volt on this blue terminal so you can see that this is the wiring diagram of uh, our sensor and i will explain it to you on paper that how will how we will connect our this sensor with our plc this is its wiring diagram bn is its brown terminal on which we will provide 24 volt dc bk is its black terminal on which it will provide its output when it senses something this is its sensing end when something gets closer to this end it will provide an output on this terminal black terminal this is this wire is the blue wire bu on which we, we will provide zero volt which is available also from the plc this is npn type uh, sensor if it, if it is an npn type sensor it gives zero volt output on sensing any object otherwise it will provide 24 volt dc it will give 24 volt dc if it is an pnp type it will give 24 volt output on sensing any object otherwise it will provide it will give zero volt so this is the difference between npn and pnp type so this is our uh, i think npn type sensor you can see that yes this is npn type sensor so i program i will make a program for this sensor and will connect the sensor to our plc system here you can see that this sensor is connected with my plc this is my plc device and you can see that this terminal is the brown terminal of my sensor this is the blue terminal of my sensor and this is the black terminal of my sensor this brown terminal is connected with this brown terminal is connected with 24 volt which is available from plc and from this wire and this is the blue terminal which is connected with zero volt you can see that this is the zero volt available from plc this is the zero volt which is available from plc and this one is the black terminal of my sensor which is connected this is my sensor this black terminal is connected with this black terminal is connected with the zero volt this is the zero volt uh, sorry this black terminal is connected with the input of the plc this is x0 input you can also connect on it on uh, with x1 x2 x3 whichever you want but i have connected this black terminal which is output of the sensor at the x0 input of my plc this is the x0 terminal on the plc you can see that this is x0 this is x1 and x2 and so on so on plc you can understand that this is input side and this is the its output side is here this is its output side when input is on this light will get on x0 x1 x2 x3 uh, for now you can see that two lights are x1 and x2 this is this is input side and this is the output side 
of the PLC. These two lights are on at the moment and output side you can see that neither of the output is on at the moment. So we will test it. First of all we will make a program for this. Now here on my computer I will create a program for this sensor. You can see that I have connected an, X, an input X0 and with this input I have connected Y1 and Y2. Y1 is a what is Y1? Y1 I have at Y1 I have connected this this is an LED on Y1 and at Y2 Y2 I have connected a relay. This is a relay. You can see that a relay is connected on Y2 and a and an LED is connected at this Y1. So I will first of all convert this program. You can see that convert it is already already converted online right to PLC program pass parameter execute yes 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 so this program is now loaded to my PLC I will check out whether it is working or not here I can test my sensor because it I have connected my sensor at the X, X0 terminal, X, X, X0 input of my PLC. So this is a capacitor sensor. First of all, I will explain you that this capacitor sensor can sense human body. It can sense water. It can also sense the metallic things. So I will touch my hand with it. You can see that it will, it will generate a signal. Yes. Look, you can see that I my my finger has not touched to this sensor, but it has sensed my fin my finger and generated an output which is visible at yes you can see that why when my finger comes closer to the sensor the output will be generated and you can see that LED is turned on this is my LED and this is my relay both are connected at the output. You can see that Y1 and Y2 are connected at the output. So when this sensor sensing senses my hand, when my hand comes closer to this sensor, it will sense my hand and will generate an output. You can see that here output is turned on, relay is also turned on, and you can see that at PLC output is also glowing at the position of Y1 and Y2. You can also test water with this sensor. I have placed water here and I will get this sensor closer to the water level. You can see that without touching the water level. Yes, it, it, it will provide it will provide a signal. Yes. When it comes closer to the water level, it will provide a signal for you, which will ultimately turn on both the outputs. So in this way, you can also check this with the metallic things. This is a metallic bar. When you get your sensor closer to this line, it will generate an output signal, which will turn on the outputs that is Y1 and Y2. In this way, you can test a capacitor sensor. You can connect a capacitor sensor and will generate a signal from its output and utilize this its signal for various useful purposes. Thank you so much for watching this video.